The Nerd Guys on Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, both sides, turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the nerdgasm. Let's talk about the Golden Globes. Um, man. Woo! Uh, so, it has How been did a- you not hear about this news, especially with your boy Tom Cruise? What did Tom Cruise do? What? I'm, okay. This week has been hectic for me. With work, <laughs> my computer was like, has my work computer has not been working like crazy. So, I, that's, been main, that's been most of my focus. What, well, what happened? The biggest thing is that... Um, there have been <laughs> it's fun. There have been issues with the Golden Globes, as we all know. And remember that whole skit that Ricky Gervais cut a couple years ago mm-hmm. about how you know lack of diversity, anything was with the Golden Globes. Yeah. Well, they finally had their breaking point, especially after Mark Ruffalo. And, <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it. Scarlett Johansson came out. <laughs> they, they love staying together. What, what is yeah. what to? Rosa Parks came up. Yeah. <laughs> she finally came out. That was a good. And she, one. Fi- I, I <laughs> she finally came out, and she was a. Uh, <laughs> and they spoke out about the diversity issues of the Golden Globes. You know now, that's funny hearing it from Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> that's why I stayed <laughs> yeah. away for it. <laughs> so finally, NBC. Cancel the Golden Globes for next year. Not airing them. And Netflix and HBO and Warner pulled all their movies from there. They're not going to give them no movies to even review for the Golden Globes. Now, I feel like before you, start, I feel like this is a step in the right direction. However, I feel like there was also like, to me. This feels mm. like they're just using diversity as an excuse to not do it at the moment. Well, well, well here's the thing. A, a lot of things, we, we, we know the award shows are going downward. Right, right. Okay. And it's 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 easier to pick on the Golden Globes because they've been doing more. Well, the Oscars have been doing shady shit also. But it's easier to, to do some of the Golden Globes because some of the breaking points happen because... Um, there were now uh there's they have a corruption in, in voting. Uh last year I believe it was uh best series uh was um a, a show that won was what they call Emily in Paris, right? Mm-hmm. And when Emily in Paris won, uh the the actual writer came out and said um I shouldn't have won this award. Period. It should have been. What was the show that they said uh, should have won? Oh my God! It's on tip of me. Uh, I may destroy you. I mm. heard of that show. I that show has been getting rave reviews, critically acclaimed show. It wasn't even nominated. But they nominated Emily in Paris. Well, she said, I mean, you know, if I, if we not for things, but no, we should not even be up here. This is the writer for the show mm-hmm. saying that we should even be up here having this discussion about this award because I May Destroy You has been the best thing all year, and it wasn't even nominated. They did the same thing with the Taurus that uh, Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie movie, which all Rotten Tomatoes got a 20% with a 42% uh, um, fan audience. critic, uh, 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 yeah, audience, yeah, audience rank, ranking, and yet it was nominated for best picture at the Golden Globes. Really, really. Now we don't care about the, the, the tomato meter too much, but they do. Yeah. And here is the here's the big reason why because the Academy. Um, uh, just to just to read you some facts real quick. These are the differences that they, that they have. The Academy has ten thousand voting members, made up of actors, directors, writers, film exclusives, musicians, publicists, etc. The Golden Globes, you know, f- uh, um, has eighty-seven members, made up of film journalists who live 
uh, who don't live in too many far, far outlets. Now, with those 87 members, zero are black. Oh. And has had a black member in at least 20 years. Sounds like the White House. Wow. Almost. Close, yeah. So there has been a representation problem and there has been a corruption in voting problem. And especially when um, the writer Emily Paris came out and uh, said that I May Destroy You deserves a Golden Globe nomination and they, they, they didn't even blink an eye to it to go out there and watch it. Mm-hmm. No, it's, 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 it's disrespectful. So finally... They were saying, because, you know, the Golden Globes has been going down in race anyway. Uh, so now they decided to cancel the whole thing. Tom Cruise, your boy Tom Cruise, yeah. shipped all his Golden Globes back to the Hollywood Film Association Press. My man. That's right. <laughs> he said, I don't need yeah. these at all. <laughs> he said, yeah, there has been so he, much. Did he sprint them personally? <laughs> Just carried the box over yo, his head. That what that, that would be a commercial that will I will for that be like the greatest Super Bowl commercial ever. Tom Cruise <laughs> running to get the Golden Globes back to the Hollywood Film for, uh, uh, Press Association. Oh my god, that'd be great. And just him throwing that. I don't need these. <laughs> yes. So yes, and, and like I said, we still have these issues with the Academy, but the Academy you're dealing with bigger monster. You're dealing with the you know the big shebang bang, and it's going to take a little bit more power. To really start to try to change them as as they're try, as they as they can say trying to make strides because like we did have uh, diversity in, in in this upcoming uh, in this past Oscars. I mean, of course, and we had the COVID issue stuff like that. So we did. It's like, it's like they're trying to make strides to, to make things different, but different. But it's still there's still a big problem, especially when we had the whole thing of how the Chadwick thing ended at the academies, right? Or some of that, and we still. Haven't had a, uh, a African American female best actor not supporting because Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer and all of them won supporting. Mm-hmm. Holly Berry was the last one to win best actor and actress, and that was two. That was that was the night when her, she won and, and Denzel uh, won. Yeah. yeah, and that was in two thousand two. And she had to take her clothes off to do it. Exactly, she had to fucking yeah. Billy Bob supporting out of all people. He said to do that, and then you know, Denzel had to go out and tell you about it. King Kong ain't got shit on him as he played a dirty cop. So, what, what, now with, with, with that being said, um, I was one of them ones though, man. We ain't doing that. Yeah, that, that, that was a great movie. <laughs> I, I would, def- I would defend that movie. I would say, but to me, it, I, no, I, I know, I know what you mean though. He yeah. should have got a Academy Award for it, absolutely. But he all his first Academy Award for Best Actor should have been Malcolm X. The end. Starving. Yeah, but he lost to Al Pacino for some other movie. Um. Wow. So, uh, yeah. But so the camera should have problems too. But with, with this for for the Golden Globe, especially you know how Tina Fey and Arnold was talking about the diversity issue in the Golden Globes at this past Golden Globes, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, it's it's, it's not doing it's not doing them any favors. So NBC agreed to cancel them. Now, if they want to cancel them, so they try to get their act together, maybe. But me personally. I didn't go to Globes and Silver enough not to give a fuck. Right. You know, and it's funny because it's like now you want to see what, what people are going to do because Tom Cruise uh, put pressure on everybody now indirectly by saying, I'm going to get these drones back. And they're like, well, hold, hold, hold on now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I, I understand. And, you know, you, you, you won it, you earned it, and you felt as though, you know, you want to, you know, show it off. But, uh, I mean, I applaud Tom Cruise for, for you know for for what he did. He didn't have to do that. Yeah, he didn't. But he didn't. Oh. T- Tom Cruise always go to the extreme. I mean, yeah, that he that, that, find that, his way to do the extreme. Exactly. So, uh, I I just I, that that was one of the biggest news that hit like on Monday, Monday or Tuesday when this hit, and I was like, oh yeah, we gotta we gotta. Bring that up. So me uh explaining that stuff to you, uh your thoughts. Oh, it's wild. Um, I one hundred percent agree. Uh the the diversity is like lagging on levels where it should not be, especially for this day and age. However, I 
for some reason, I feel like they're just using diversity as an excuse because of their viewership going down so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's because it's because I I can understand why they've been canceled because it's like yo our views has been going down bad. But let's try to act like we're standing for something and say it's diversity. Mm-hmm. That's what I personally feel like. Um, as I've been as I was researching when you text that to me, um, I didn't find enough like validation to really believe like, oh okay we're trying to fix ourselves you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that that's just my personal opinion i i could be wrong 100 percent. if more information comes out i i will change my opinion on that but as from what i'm seeing right now it just doesn't it doesn't feel genuine mm-hmm. to say the least uh, How about you, bro? well between this and black superman the world's on fire and i love it Okay, look with Black Superman. That that's just like it, it, it's as a black man, I'm happy. We we cool. We get a Superman, but at the same time, it's like really, we we could have had a John Stewart movie. We we didn't need a Black Kal El movie. I'm still I don't need a holding Black out Kal-El hope. Movie neither. I'm what? still hoping out hoping that it could be you know Calvin Ellis, aka Kal El, without the dash. Yeah. So, you know, mm-hmm. I'm hoping, but if they do like Cal with the dash, I'm like, well, here we go. Right. Buggle up. <laughs> Which I'm not a thousand percent on board with, but people are mad and I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. And by, yeah. When I say people, you know who I mean. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. For sure. And I don't I don't care that like everyone's gonna be like, Yo, look, Superman's Kryptonian. He could be any color he want. <laughs> like, y- y'all are making a big deal out of, about it. But. I feel like a world does need to see a black Superman at this point. We need, like, we had our Luke Cage. We had a black bulletproof man. And we we got it at the time where we needed. But it, it's like. Well, we had Wakanda, though, bro. We, we also, yeah, exactly. We also had Wakanda. We had a black king. Uh, God rest his soul. And, like, it feels like it feels like DC is pandering. I know we said that last week. Uh, DC is, it feels like DC is pandering. Mm-hmm. But, um, that's neither here or there. Matter of fact, Q, how do you feel about it? Oh wait, well, you, never mind. You already said it. Uh, the world's burning. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. I'm, I'm no. I'm honestly, I honestly hope it's Calvin Ellis, because if not, then it, then you know, what are we doing? But as long as the snowflakes are crying, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to support it. Yo, he said, it's on even it's even snow in July." Like, yo, the matter of fact, I'm about to cast right now. We get. Uh, we get uh, Superman, a black Superman, uh, Serena Williams as Wonder Woman. What else we got? We got um, as, as wait Serena Williams as Diana Prince. Yes. Okay. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, let's we, get a. Uh, let's, 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 you were there for all the wrong reasons, but I got. Let's I get Idris. Go. Let's get Idris as Bruce Wayne. Ooh. Ooh hold up. Hold up. You spitting. Mm. <laughs> you might have did something there. We about to <laughs> let's campaign it. That that sounds a little bit. We get Idris, than get Idris, right? Get Idris as Batman, and get uh, get my man Franklin from Snowfall as Robin. Ooh, Robin's the main character, right? My man, uh, Damson Idris, yeah, yeah, yeah. Franklin, that's, that's his name. Okay, yeah, that would be. I could see him playing a Robin. Look, I, I saw I saw two scenes of Snowflake and he gave me chills. Snowfall. Snowfall. My bad. You ain't watched the series? <laughs> I have not watched the series. Bro, you missed it, it now. It it's on a Hulu? good show. I don't... It's on Hulu. Yes, okay. it's on Hulu. All I four just, seasons. I just never knew where to watch it. All four seasons, and it's crazy because him between him and the uncle, neither of them sound like that L.A. Like <laughs> yo, yeah, his they're uncle all Britain. Yo, <laughs> No, they're not all British, but the uncle, his voice ain't as deep. At, like his voice ain't deep at all. His real voice. Yo. He kind of sent. I don't. I don't know who <laughs> we know to compare his voice to, but his voice is not deep at all. Like his real voice. And when you see him, like when you see his face compared to the voice, it's like what the who the hell are you? <laughs> like, it's a complete change. It's a complete change, bro. Yo, all I know is these Brits are gonna make us lose our jobs. Like they, they be coming in with American accents where it's like, yo, what? 
There's no way th- this is not your real accent because you're playing it off too well. Mm-hmm. Baby Denzel. Uh, the, the, the baby Denzel. Man, uh, uh, gosh, uh, Kahlua. That Fred yeah, that's Hampton. what I got big also. That Fred Hampton mm-hmm. was crazy. <laughs> Boy, that job. <laughs> I was like, God. I was like, no, he, I was like, he know him personally. There's no other way. But, um, uh, yeah, that was, um, uh, yeah, the Golden Globes. But, yeah, I, I just feel, something's not, something's not hitting right with me. Uh, they said, uh, hopefully it will come back in January 2023. Now, for you, uh, Mr. Amy, you're the awards guy. If if you if this doesn't come back, how would you feel? Don't care. Okay. Ditto. Yeah. Care. I, I care absolutely. Yeah. Let's about to go to Globe. I was gonna say the same thing because it. I got it's the same thing with E three. If it comes back, cool. If it doesn't, nah, I'm not losing any sleep. And it's been biased from day one, and not even just on the diversity thing. Just even movies I like. All right, no, no thank you. The Golden Globes is trying to be is trying to be a second to the Academy. So they guys had to have a place. I'm like, no, nah, it's cool. Just you know, stop with the bullshit. Just do the stuff right, and let it. It all these award shows. It just no. It needs to be the granddaddy of them all. Grammys, music, Oscars, movies. You know, et cetera, et cetera, and, and do it that way. And uh, let's honor the people that need to be honored. You know what I'm saying? The Golden Globes, Golden Globes to me was just a waste of time in the first place. Do I like watching kind of like movies? I'm like, yeah, but it's like, okay, Chad, we got the Golden Globe. I'm happy for him, but I want him to get the Oscar. We all know that's, that, that, look, no matter what end game we, 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 we try to do or what we, what we care about and what award shows we have, if you're in a certain business, we know what, what eventually you want to be at, such as when we talk about wrestling. You can, talk, you can go AEW all you want to. You can go to all these indie promotions all you want to and talk about some how you much you love the business you hate Vince. But every single wrestler out there knows that one day they want to be where? WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it? If you're a wrestler in the business and that's not your goal at least one day, then what you in here for? It don't matter. If you, you we know how fucked up the NFL is and how Roger Goodell is. And any football player out here, they tell us, well, yeah, you know, I'm graduate college. I go to Canadian League. Nobody want to go to Canadian League. Don't nobody want to play Canadian football or arena football. They want to play where? The NFL. That's just where it's at. And everybody, we don't need a, an Oscar to define us. It's like we don't need a Grammy to define us. But even if you're in that business, you know what the granddaddy of all is. And all the work that you put putting out there, it's like, yeah, it's fine if you ever go to Globe. It's even fine if you have an NAACP worker. They're acknowledging our people. Right. But you know what you want. And you know what, you know what, the, the cream of the crop is, and that's that Oscar that will, no matter how much you need to, rep, you know, since it was Spike Lee, it don't, don't need to represent me, but he jumped up in Samuel Jackson's arms when he got that Oscar. Yeah. It means something to these people out here. We didn't let it affect us, but it means something. Right. You know, and that, that's, that's just, you know, that's the way it is. Especially, you want, you want everybody to see that the work that I do is acceptable and it doesn't, should matter what kind of skin color or religion or sex or uh you know g- gender swap i am this is this is the bottom line right now do you feel like this could be a platform to where other award shows start getting canceled like this well we was on the snowball last year and i said this to everybody change does not happen overnight and everybody hears a cliche yeah 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 i know i know i know look every major event in u.s history Happened with just one incident and it snowballed to something else. Last year, our eyes were, uh, everybody's eyes, whether they liked it or not, was awakened to racial problems in this country. And it started a snowball effect. That George Floyd that happened last year, that's, that's, that's a snowball effect that's going to keep rolling for the years to come. Because if that didn't happen last year, the Golden Globes is coming back next year. How many we've been talking about diversity for all this stuff for years, but see now when you it all it takes is one incident to really get the ball rolling, and we faith fate choose that incident. The civil rights movement would never happen if Emmett Till didn't get killed. That's the way it happens. That's the that's the way the snowball fight happens. So yes, I do believe that there's going to be investigations. There's going to be other things. It's going to go into worship because once the once the ball is rolling and people 
show balls and what what change? Like, come on, you ain't never heard of an actor sending back his awards, right? Because Tom Cruise will be, he's the first, but I do believe he ain't gonna be the last. Yeah, he won't be the last. But it, it, it always starts with something. And see, here's the thing. We've been protesting the Oscars for decades. We have been protesting hip, Q, though. We've been hip hop and protesting the Grammys since the 80s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this thing ain't new. But what happens is, in order to create change, you have to see the people who don't know that change needs to exist. You have to open their eyes to a lot of things. And when you open their eyes a lot of things like, oh shit, I've never seen this before, or they never pay attention to it, or they were ignorant to the fact, then when you open their eyes about that's how this change comes, because you open their eyes and now we gonna keep the pressure coming. So now there's no going to globes <coughs> and they realize, oh damn, maybe we don't need it. And it'll probably it'll probably force them to want to try to do some legit change. But they got two years of their act together. They had a, a, a legit two years to get their act together, and the academy now this puts pressure on the academy because the academy was at its lowest of ratings, and you can't blame that on COVID, right? And even if, with some of the diversity picks, uh, in there, you know, saying it, it's it, you know, it, it still was a mess, and it, st- it still needs things to, to fix it. Like we, d- we're in twenty twenty one. And it, we're still hearing first woman or first person of color or first black to do this. And it's like, like the, the, the lady said, I forgot who, who was, who went for costumes, was a costume design, I think it was. He said, when we get to a point where this is not a uh, achievement, it's a normal. Just to hear people getting called up, you know, just to be represented. It's, it's that day, I think it's going to come because of how the Baltimore people are fed up. And more people open their eyes to it. More people are understanding how things work. Remember, we was talking off air, talking about stuff. You know, it's funny. I think this uh, last uh, last year was, I think, was people really tr- learning the, the true value about voting. Yeah. Because growing up, we we didn't understand it, and then let alone care, because we was always saying, "Well, they're gonna pick who they want to pick anyway." But it was. It, it hit different this year, you know what I'm saying? Right, and like, like I remember saying, like telling you, it was like when I learned about voting, I was like in first grade. And <coughs> we never learned it again, and I was like, exactly. Who first grade cares about that? Because you can't vote till you're 18, right? So it's gonna cause it's gonna cause an effect, and you're curious to see what's gonna happen with you know Grammys and the Tony Awards and and um. You know the academy and things. How things are going to move into next year, and then who's going? You know who's the, who kind of stuff is going to be nominated, things like that. It, it's you know it's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how a lot of this stuff is you know going to come out to play. 